making, making adjustments in a fight. That's one of the lessons that we're about to go over this weekend. And there was a good fight this weekend and my guy was in it. So what we're doing now is we're gonna start working on how to channel the right data collector by speaking into the moment what you know you should be doing. So we're gonna turn the tides in this match. We have the wild place. And it's me, of course. And we're gonna show you a couple of things that you're gonna to need to know whenever you're adapting to a scenario in a fight. So what George and I are gonna do, we're gonna do this for like 20 seconds and stuff, and then we're gonna to get to our drills. But take notes. Whenever you're being, when you're in a position and the guy's pressing you, so what I'm gonna do, we're gonna go through a scenario, so bear with us. Uh, I'm gonna start, we're gonna to stand toe to toe, and we, we're in the com combat. My first thing, what I see is something that he don't know that he's doing. But I already see it. So what I know that he's doing, I'm gonna take advantage of it right now. All right, so I'm inside. Boom, boom. That's my my thing was he had a good jab. So the first thing I had to do is I said it to myself. I see what he's doing. Sometimes you don't even see it yet. But when you say it out loud, it comes open. So the moment I said it. I saw when he went there, I went here, boom, bam. And we trained doing that. The thing about it is, when it's fight night, it's different. Same thing, we stand here toe to toe. Let me see, he got a good jab again. I decided to pull him to me. And what happens when you pull a fighter to him? Whenever you understand and collect the data, you know he was a hungry lion. And from that point, he was gonna come. So I pulled him right back over here. And soon, pop, I'm gonna start countering this jab. And that's one of the things that you gotta be able to do on fight night. Whenever you're in the ring, or if you're sparring, you go into another gym, you gotta know. When it's time to make that adjustment, see what he got? You stand toe to toe with him. Huh? As soon as he start jabbing, you decide, I'm gonna close him if his jab is really good. And if it's long, pull him to you, shorten him, because when he walks forward, he has to shrink. And then you can count him, pop. So play with him all night, in and out. Sound familiar? And that's what you gotta do. So you take these things, stick to the process, take your notes, talk to yourself. Every once in a while, you're gonna have to call on something special. And we call it that thing that has no name. Until the next time, Coach Eric Bradley and the Wild Points. This is Master Boxing. Will you get your master's degree in boxing? Be sure to share the post, tag someone. Be blessed at God's speed. We out of here. Peace.